Athletic Director Vince Tyree resigned today and he's not taking that job at Florida State University. He's out after nearly a week of speculation about his future. Sports Director Ken Spencer is joining me now. He's been following this all week and lots of talk about what's next for Vince Tyree, including at one point today people were wondering, would he stay at UofL since that hadn't really been a finalized deal yet? Yeah, things moving so fast, Doug, but all indications I've been given, he's going to head back outside of college athletics, which is where he was before taking the AD job at Louisville starting in the fall of 2017. The university is saying today they received and accepted Vince Tyree's letter of resignation which went into effect yesterday, the same day the school's board of trustees changed his contract, taking out the non-compete clause and the clause where you had to give 30 days notice before resigning. Something interesting about the letter, it was addressed to Dr. Neely Bendapudi. Tyre is also not going to be the new athletics director at Florida State, like you just said. I was told he turned down the job and the Seminoles named somebody else this afternoon. For Louisville, their next step now is to put an interim AD in place in the short term and then at some point fill the position in the long term. When it comes to just the interim part, there's really no timetable for now on when they'll get that done. So last night when we came on at 11 o'clock for the night team, the Tallahassee Democrat, the big paper down there, was saying basically Ty Ray is it. He's coming, he's going to get the job. You think it was the salary differential or something else connected here, switched? You know, I don't. I don't know exactly what was what was the reason why he turned down that job, but things can move so fluidly. I think when you looked at the Board of Trustees meeting yesterday and they took out the non-compete clause, which meant that he could go to another ACC school, I think everybody just assumed that paved the way for him to be able to make that jump, but obviously he had other things in mind. And as we learned today, U of L was doing all this while they knew Neely Benaputi was leaving. She told him on Monday. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you, Kim.